Hello everyone, today we are going to review the new Hubson H501S FPV brushless quadcopter. This one has a GPS and also it have a follow me function as well which we have not seen in this size of quadcopter. You can see this is its box, a traditional Hubson style transmitter which you have seen in their previous model like Hubson H. 107D or D plus now I have flied this quad several times so now I can speak about this product so here is the quad copter it is just a 2 kg box so here it is I will put this off Now here is the quadcopter, we will take a look at it later. This is the charger for charging the battery of the quadcopter. It takes about 2.5 hours to charge the battery. This is the adapter for the charger. You will get 8 propellers. 4 spare propellers which is very nice and this is a tool a very useful tool for removing the propellers on and off and this is a traditional Hubson style transmitter so now we will look at the quadcopter and see how good it is now speaking about this quadcopter design is very nice the build quality is also good plastic is soft not too hot not too soft good also brushless motors which are also good looks very good quality this is the battery bay we will check the battery this one is 2700 milliampere lipo battery this will give it around 20 or 23 minutes flight time depend on how you fly it it will, uh, it will take two and a half hours to charge it fully on back you can see some ventilation this is uh, the camera module on the bottom side and here is the camera This shows 1080p HD video and photos. Also, it is a wide angle lens camera, not a narrow angle lens, so you can get a wide field of view with it. This is the memory card slot here, and these are the LEDs in each arm. Now, we will power it on. So here you go, looks very nice, very bright LEDs, as you can see this is the camera module. So now we will connect this with the transmitter. We will turn on the transmitter and we are start getting the live stream. You can see there is no lag, this is a 5.8 GHz FPV system. So let's come to the transmitter and at the end we will come to the final thoughts that how I found this quadcopter. This is a traditional Upson style transmitter. Both sticks are spring loaded, centered stick. This is the button for taking photos, videos, framing buttons, GPS enable and disable button return to home or rth button on this side you can see um, some plugs for i think adding a uh, connecting fpv goggles and a back side you will require a four double a batteries within it so it can turn it on 
this is the port for USB for upgrading the firmware and this is the memory card slot as well this is very nice although it looks very good but I have some concern about this transmitter so now we will turn it on and see what information you get on the LCD screen so you can see some satellites on the uh, on the controller and the quadcopter also you can see battery level on the quadcopter and the controller you have uh, some information about the height and distance you can see this oops this is the concern I found with this transmitter the batteries so let's come to the pros and cons and my final thoughts on this quadcopter first of all follow me function no other quad of this size of that function it works very good GPS function with altitude hold return to home I've tested that return to home feature it works perfectly well so that's a good news I really don't like this transmitter because it's a toy grade transmitter for this kind of quad capture data brushless motor also I have concerned about this the batteries it drains too fast so you have to buy either a rechargeable batteries or do some mods to add a lipo battery in it I really don't like this or it also makes the cord capture so much unstable because of these type of sticks but a GPS function works very great also it have a brushless motor so you have a, a good quality flight with it also it is not too much noisy let's come to the FPV range FPV range is very good I got around 800 meters with the stock everything out of the box video quality is very good it also get very nice colors contrast I will add some sample in the video so for the price of around I guess 250 or 300 dollars I will definitely recommend this one because you are getting a proper set that have a brushless motors GPS function, follow me function, FPV live, 5.8 gigahertz screen on the transmitter. You don't need to add any uh, smartphone, connect any smartphone like you do on the DJI's products. Camera is great, wide angle camera, not a narrow angle lens camera. Also, it is good to fly and looks very, very nice. Design is good, build quality is also good. So, I will definitely recommend this one. If you are interested in buying this, there is a link below this video. You can buy it from there. That's it for today. I will see you next time with some other quad copter review.